Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of Dorotheum Auctions based in Austria and we're going to have a look at an auction that I actually missed. Uh, I must be honest, there was an auction yesterday on the 24th that I missed. It does happen sometimes. Either I'm too busy or sometimes I get the, uh, the dates wrong. So it's happened in the past. But we must use this as a uh, useful tool to see how much uh, something sells for. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to have a look at what items were here on sale, uh, what the estimate was and how much it sold for. So that should be pretty interesting. I think the buyer's premium for this auction was like 25% or maybe 30, I'm not sure. It's a bit vague when I checked out the sheet, but somewhere between 25 and 30%. So this auction was yesterday uh, and we're gonna see the results today. Not many items in this sale, only about 49 that are musical instruments. It's a mixture of musical instruments and other bits and pieces, but it'll be uh, nice to go over anyway i'll put a link to these uh, uh results in the um description of the video anyway and as i always like to say um if you enjoy these videos please consider subscribing or like or comment because it really does help so yeah apologies that i missed this video um but uh next time i'll keep a closer and not uh, eye on dorothea and uh make sure i don't miss it so let's uh, get some translations in here so looks like a violin bow by Gustav Praja here let's uh, see if we can get a translate on it translate to English yes please yes silver mounted violin bow by Gustav Praja octagonal uh, stick Gustav Praja uh, starting bid was a thousand euros and it realized a thousand euros so there we go it looks like it was just one bid on that we've got a few pictures here so it's interesting to see that that uh, sold for pretty much the uh, the estimate there so that's curious we'll head back to our list here Then the second lot was a Mando Cello. The starting bid was 70 and it sold to 70 euros. So once again, they were pretty much spot on the uh, estimate there. And it's a, another bow here, 140 starting and 140 realized. So that's uh, it's from Reichel. So that's interesting. Another bow here. C. A. Hoyer, Mark Nikirkin. 100, the starting bid, 100 ended up winning that. So, let's see where we are. Another violin bow there, 140, the estimate 140 was the price realised there. Herman bow there. Let's uh, see what's going on here. It's a little bit awkward to uh, go to the next lots. Another bow here, not very exciting. Tortmull, Mark Nakirkin, 170 bid. Uh, 191 so actually there's a few different people uh, bidding on that so there are more than one bidder going on in that auction so that's interesting Let's see what else is here another bow Mark Nikirkin 100 to start 100 was the bid let's carry on another bow here and 140 to start, 140 to bid, another top model, not very kind of nice uh, bow to be honest, but someone's uh, bidding on it. Pencil bow supposedly, 100 to start, 100 was realised. And then we'll, ooh, we've gone a bit mad there on the... Uh, the internet one more bow I think 70 to start 70 
ended up winning so it all kind of sold interesting these bows <laughs> marked Fernand book interesting right then we've got a uh, good old squeeze box there 500 starting 500 one so that's kind of uh, that's interesting three row Viennese Schrammel harmonica by Budowitz 1907 okay, that's interesting what else do we have here seems to be a bohemian master violin I think that's what they're saying here quite a nice back on it starting bid 1800 realized price 1800 seeing uh, a lot of things being repeated here by Alfred Neudorfer Loi Shebu Schumbach circa 1980 it's interesting 36.2 length of backs fairly long looks like the same person bidding on uh, a lot of these uh, things Let's see where we are again an interesting master violin is what that is saying 1400 to start 1400 bid really quite strange that uh, all of just one person bidding it's a bit odd end of the 19th century there so curious tenor saxophone there 340 to start got 340 Interesting electric guitar, 190 to bid, 260 realised, well something was bidding. And we've got a silver mounted um, violin bow by August Edwin Praja, octagonal stick, starting bid, price realised, 800. So once again another bow that uh, just had one bid on it, and looks actually not too bad, better than the other bows. An accordion there. Starting with 140, sold for 220. A, a Viennese a master Geiger. I'm starting to understand a bit more of some of the languages going through these. By Christoph Leidolf, 1762. Okay, interesting. Starting with 1200, price realised 2000. So, not much other information uh, going on that. So, interesting um, it looks like a French manufactured violin is what they're saying something of that nature 700 and to start and price realized was 700 so right on it again around 1930s they're saying doesn't look very exciting a Mittenwald master viola I think that is trying to say 2000 to start sorry 22 to start and it sold for 22 really weird auction uh, by Carl Roy 1961 there 40.8 length of back so that's pretty good for a modern viola right uh, an Austrian viola let's see Thirteen hundred to start, thirteen hundred one by Fritz Schmutzer Bad Ischel, nineteen fifty two, thirty nine point eight, smaller ish side of uh, violas there. Got another bow here. Another bow by uh Praja. Five hundred as the start and five hundred got it. Right, a bohemian manufactured violin here. Ein bohemisch manufacture Geiger. 170 to start, 190 won it. Not super exciting. Okay. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is saying a Hungarian violin manufactured violin 130 start 130 bid once again nothing too exciting on that but you can blow up the pitches a bit we've got a cello 
a manufactured cello 3.8 to start and it sold for 3.8 well that's not bad for a manufactured cello they're saying mere call around 1900 so it looks alright doesn't look too bad a French master viola 2.4 to start 2.4 to to win it by Amadi Dudone Mirko 1949 quite a nice model actually interesting shape what's the size 41.7 that's yeah it's a good good size for a modern player and we've got a bohemian manufactured violin 152 and 150 got it 1900 don't think that's really worth that but anyway Let's see. It's a, I think it's saying a Hungarian. Let's just check. Actually, we can do the translate. Is this saying a Hungarian uh, violin, or have I just completely made that all up? Yes, a Hungarian lady's violin, which I think they mean probably a seven eighths violin. So at least I understood uh, that they're saying a Hungarian, and I presume that this is saying a seven eighths violin. Actually, looks kind of interesting. The cover is a later edition with bow and case. Okay, interesting. It's curious, 340 to start and 340 was bid. Very strange auction. Uh, it's a bohemian manufactured violin here. Circa 1950, nothing really exciting. 240 start, 240 bid. And just looks like a manufactured violin here if we load up 300 to start, 380 bid, ok that's interesting Mark Nekirkin, late 19th century not very exciting, then we have a uh, Viennese clarinet there 160 start, 160 was bid half size violin, 70 start, 70 bid Six string banjo, 60 start, 60 bid. So another one of these harmonica things. 300 start, 300 bid. Looks like a little tiny uh, piano thing there. 70 start, 110 was bid. It's a bohemian manufactured uh, violin here. 160 start, 160 bid. And we've got a nice Viennese guitar here 600 site 1900 bid okay interesting that seems quite a high price for that Gabriel Lembock Verkstar 1855 to 60 hmm seems a little bit high but maybe these are really desirable in Austria another violin bow here not much information 600 to start, 600 was bid. An alto sax, 400 start, 450 bid. Bohemian viola. Wow, 1100 uh, to start, and it sold for six, uh, 3600, so that's fairly good. 1930s or 40s, 40.4. Nice case, so someone or a couple of people saw something in in this or maybe it just sounded really good if they tried it oh, we've got more things here than I expected I thought we'd be uh, done by now 300 to start 300 was bid interesting kind of silver mounted bow 1920s 1930s let's see what else we've got here another silver mounted bow Paul Weidhaas actually quite an interesting bow there 700 to start, 750 uh, bid. Pierre Hell, okay. Got a French master violin by Pierre Hell, the same there, Lille 1927. Starting bids was five and it went for 11,000, so that's pretty, pretty good going there. That was popular. Another bow here. 
Silver Mount of Island Bow by William Retford. Interesting. Stamped Hill and Sons. 2 6 to start. 3 4. It went for. Then we've got a, a horn. 800 uh, start. 800 realised. Scottish uh, bagpipes or some kind of pipes. 120 to start. 160 realised. Uh, guitar there. 200 to start. 200 realised. This is kind of interesting, like a kind of uh, hurdy gurdy type thing, but not quite. Bohemian Lyre, interesting. Hurdy gurdy, well, it is the same thing. 18th century, but I presume a German one as opposed to a French one. It's quite interesting, that, isn't it? Ooh, nice kind of head there on the thing. That's kind of cool. Looks kind of a lot more interesting than. Uh, a lot of the hurdy gurdies here, starting with four, realised price four. Yeah, I think that's kind of interesting. That one, quite uh, quite like that. One of the most interesting lots out of this uh, auction so far. And I think we're into music boxes here, so we've got one last thing. I think that this is saying a fine, um, old violin. Uh, an Italian master violin something like that let's see what does it say a fine old violin oh in the style of Italian master violins okay interesting 5,000 to start and 5,000 was realized it's net graft there see if we can blow this one up a bit and uh, let's full screen it to see what's really going on here see what the quality of the pictures are Okay, let's have a look at the back as well. I think the pictures are really not that great until you zoom in, but uh, yeah, curious looking uh, violin that. Um, and that's kind of the end of it really. So that was an overview of the Dorotheum auction and what stuff sold for. Sorry, that was a bit of a rough and ready uh, overview uh, of that. Not particularly uh, the greatest overview. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's an idea of what uh, was for sale at the Dorotheum auction and what the prices were. So I'll make sure that I don't miss the next auction. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Ciao.